iOS 18 is finally publicly available and this might be the biggest update we've ever seen on iPhone. There are so many new features. The customization possibilities are absolutely endless in this update and I'd like to share with you my top 18 iOS 18 features. I think some of them will absolutely be useful to plenty of you. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. Before we start, I think it's important to know which iPhone is compatible with iOS 18, as you can see here, iPhone SE second generation, or later iPhone XR all the way up till iPhone 15 and 15 Pro and obviously the new iPhone 16 models. So number one, one of my favorite new features coming to iOS 18 is the new pause and resume option. So now we have a button here in the bottom left that when you're filming actually can press that and it pauses the recording. If you just wanna resume the recording, you just press again on the bottom left and you just pick up where you left off. I absolutely love this one. Number two, Within Safari, we now have the possibility to hide distracting objects, hide distracting things. So let's say you're on a recipe page or whatever. There are often a lot of websites that have advertisements or just things that are bothering you. For example, here, this pop-up. And what you can do here is click the eye icon and then click on hide distracting items. And you can just press on these blocks, on these images, and just bam, just like that, remove them. And then when you're happy with what has been removed, just hit done, and then they're good to go. You don't have these distracting items. And obviously, if you refresh it, all your removed distracting items are back again. Number three is the flashlight. So now this animation is absolutely sick. If you can see it, we now have the flashlight right here. You can see this animation. How cool is that? What you can do now is you can actually change the beam strongness, the strength, but also the width. So by sliding from left to right, you're actually changing the beam width. So let's see if I can show that. As so you can see that how the flashlight's beam width is changing, really cool. I didn't know this was possible. You can now in iOS 18. Number four is that you have the possibility to lock apps with Face ID. So how does this work? You simply long press on an app and then click on require face ID, require face ID again, you confirm, you use face ID and bam, just like that. Now, if people wanna get into any specific app that you locked with face ID, as you see, I cannot open the app. I just have to show my face. And, and as you notice, if face ID isn't available, you always have the possibility to fill in your passcode. Number five related to locking apps is the fact that you can also hide apps from your home screen. So how does this work? It's pretty similar to locking the apps. So you long press on any app and then click on require face ID. And now you get this message here. And so we have the require face ID just to lock apps, but you can also click on hide and require face ID to actually hide the app. So then obviously face ID is needed as well. So let's try that out. Again, now you can see it. This is what will happen. Obscured app appearance and no notification calls or alerts. So let's hide the app, bam, and now it's gone. And just to find it back, we have to go to the app library right here, and we need to scroll down all the way to the bottom, and it's there in hidden, so we can't see it, but to find it, just click on it, face ID will be asked, and now long press it, and then don't require Face ID to have access to it again. Number six is that we now have the possibility to immediately rearrange widgets straight from their home screen. So how does this look? Simply long press on any app that supports widgets and now you have these different menus that you can select. For example, let's use this one. And as you can see immediately, on your home screen, you can see the new design. It works with a bunch of apps, and as you can see, it's really intuitive. Uh, we can also go for the bigger ones, You're going to push everything down, and really nice and easy way to quickly change widgets on your home screen. Number seven is that we now have the possibility to send messages later. Maybe this is really nice if you're afraid to forget somebody's birthday, or I don't know, an important message that you're afraid to forget about. So in messages, when you tap the plus icon, you now have this send later option, click on that. And as you can see here, you can select the date and time, I think it's limited to about like two weeks, maybe something like that. For example, decide the date and time, and then you can just send any message you want. 
happy birthday, then you're just certain that you won't forget any important messages in the future and then it will be scheduled to send later. Number eight, and this is within settings, scroll down to accessibility. In here we scroll down and we go to a vocal shortcut. So vocal shortcuts, it's a bit like Siri, but quicker and more efficient. So you can assign a certain words, for example, shot, snap, lock, or front, to these specific actions. Now, if I turn this on and I say snap, you can see immediately the camera will be open for a bunch of people. This will be extremely useful, really nice and quick way to accent certain action with just one word. Number nine is that we now have a redesigned control center. So already it looks really different, but now also you have different tabs. If you scroll down, uh, music and also all your different connections, you can quickly edit this just by long pressing. You can make just as I shown with the widget, you can make the fields bigger really easily, just like that. And then automatically things will be rearranged. And in here, you also have the possibility to immediately turn off your iPhone. So yeah, you don't need to do that by pressing the power on and off button as well as the volume up. No, it's just simply right in the control center. Number 10 is within the Photos app. So as you know by now, it has been completely redesigned. Some people are happy with the redesign, a lot of people not. I think we just need to get used to this. But yeah, if you now scroll all the way down to Utilities and click on the arrow here on the word, you see that iOS 18 now categorizes your different photos and videos into, for example, receipts or documents or QR codes. And this can really make finding certain photos or videos significantly easier. I really like this. I always have trouble finding back some of my photos or videos with specific things. I know with Apple intelligence, this is going to be significantly better, but yeah, really nice to also have this overview clean and very organized. Next up in settings, when you go to accessibility again, and then we go to motion, there's this new show vehicle motion cues so if we turn this on and we're in a vehicle these dots will actually move and should make you use your iphone inside a moving vehicle way more pleasant yeah the dots will move just like that apparently it works for many people nice feature for when you're in the car next up in accessibility we now have this new eye tracking feature and it's actually really awesome so if you turn this on you'll go through this process where you have to follow the dots so let's quickly do that As you can see, that's set up now. I can use my iPhone using my eyes. So yeah, it works surprisingly well. So let's say I wanna go back. Let's go back just like that. And we can go to touch, let's go to touch. And uh, this has been significantly improved compared to previous versions of iOS. Turn off vibration, just like that. And now let's go back again, just like that. And let's go back to eye tracking and then toggle off eye tracking. There we go. Number 13 is that we have the possibility to clean up photos. We can remove distracting objects or people from within photos, as you can see here. Not sure whether this feature will be available in the European Union anytime soon, but it allows you to just remove with your finger distracting objects very easily. I think Google already did a phenomenal job on this and now it's finally also coming to the photos app. Number 14 has to do with the voice memos app. So this one has significantly been improved. Let's say I'm recording my voice right now, talking to the camera, talking to you guys. And what's really amazing now that if I'm done with recording, you see here you get this little like uh, speaking or text image. Let's say we press on the three dots and then we can actually see our transcript just like that. And now we actually have the possibility if we want, we can just copy this all. And you can just paste it wherever you want. Let's say you want it in a new note, you just immediately up, just paste it. And there you go, really easy. You can also straight do this from the recording. So let's go back, let's click the three dots again. And you just say, copy transcript. We go again back here up, and we paste it just like that. And now next up, talking about voice recordings and transcripts, you can also straight do this into the notes app itself. So now if we tap on the paperclip icon, we have the possibility to do an audio recording straight in the notes app. Let's try it out, how that works. 
So I'm taking this audio here for the notes app just to give you a guys a demo. We hit pause, then we hit done if we're happy with it. And as you can see, just like that, you get your transcript again. I think this will be useful to plenty of people. Next up, we stay in Notes because Notes just got so many nice updates. And that is that we have the possibility to make our own calculations within the Notes app. So in here, you can have the possibility to just draw anything you want. Let's say, for example, we want to make a easy calculation. Hope my handwriting will be recognized here. Seven, eight, e equals just like that and we can solve this 15 you can also make a vertical calculations there you go you solve it amazing how awesome is this and obviously this is also on the ipad available next up the calculator app now is so amazing so much better so if we open it we now have the possibility for example to remove just one number where in the past we had to remove everything you could do that by swiping but apple actually removed that in ios 18 so now it's just the backspace on the left but now even better is that when you click the calculator icon in the bottom left you have the convert option if you turn this on now this is put from grams to pounds but you can change this to anything almost temperature speed for example currency which i really like you can just select australian dollar and at the same time us dollar so useful to maybe quickly find some information about different metrics you don't even have to use a calculator app also you can see the history and if you want you can remove your history pretty useful if you for example want to look back what you've done their app is like 10 times better than before next up is that we now have a dedicated passwords app so this used to be within the settings if you would scroll down you would have the passwords option but now apple decided to make a dedicated passwords app obviously this is locked with face id and now you have access to all your passwords in one app i think this will be a massive threat to all all the other password app makers like one password or lost pause i think there are a bunch of them you can share passwords you can make shared groups you can easily remove and delete certain passwords and also have a quick look at the security threat 270 threats with me uh, i think i have some work to do here and lastly we go to the lock screen because now on the lock screen and this might be also one of my favorite features is that you have the possibility to customize the lock screen buttons in the bottom left and right so let's say for example we want to remove the camera here we just remove that and let's say we want to put the calculator right there because we need to have quick access to that you hit done and as you can see you have the calculator right there obviously photos is not needed here anymore because you can just swipe from the right to the left on your iphone but really nice now to have you, your calculator straight on your lock screen and of course there are a bunch of other things you can add there's even the possibility to add shortcuts right there just let me show you quickly if we remove it you can add any shortcut or straight any other app you want i hope this was helpful ios 18 is I believe one of the biggest iOS updates we've ever seen. Also with the possibility of the redesigned lock screen, home screen, control center. You can remove and place your apps however you want. Let me know what you guys think about iOS 18. What's your favorite new iOS 18 feature? Share it with us in the comments down below. Also make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon and like this video. That would mean a lot to me. See you in the next one and peace.